and the usual lifetime of solar is considered around 25 years this is what the IRR of my solar investment would be now you can see how big a number this is solar energy has been gaining a lot of popularity since last 20-25 years all of us believe that solar is great for economy for society but at an individual level is it worth investing is it really an investment or a sort of utility that helps us save some money now i have been working with one of india's largest epc companies it is one of my friends company in fact they have installed solar setups for over 20,000 customers all over india now and based on their insights and a lot of questions that they get, I wanted to make a video around how to choose a suitable solar setup based on your requirements. Stuff like what wattage, what power should you choose, what components should you opt for and so on. But while I was discussing this video with my family, I realized that people still don't look at solar as an investment. So I spoke to a few of my friends. They are also exploring solar to get installed at their residences but even they don't look at it as an investment and i realized that this perspective is widespread and people still see solar as something good that they should do but they are not sure of the returns or the kind of numbers that they should expect on their investment so in this video i'll share very simple calculations that we usually use to measure and calculate returns of normal investments like mutual funds, bonds, FDs, etc. and try to show how solar can actually be a great investment if used and executed properly. Now this is a government website and I'll be taking some of the numbers from here and I'll be changing that to make a calculation more flexible uh, in the second step. In this particular case, it shows a setup of 3 kilowatt which is usually considered as the most economical and cost efficient for residential rooftops. In this you can see that the break even period or the payback period is around 5.32 years. If you change it to 2 kilowatt, it goes to 5.47 and if we take it to 4 kilowatt, we can see that it again goes to 5.63. Now based on this number, we will work on our calculation. Now this is the calculation. Let us start from the first assumption that the break even period is 5.5 years. If uh, it is 5.5 years, the annual savings as a percentage of initial investment would be around 18. This means that if I invest 100 rupees, I will get around 18 rupees every year. Now, if that is the case and the usual lifetime of solar is considered around 25 years, this is what the IRR of my solar investment would be. Now, you can see how big a number this is. Now, let us make this more realistic and conservative. Let us say that the payback period is around 8 years. This comes at around 13% and let us put it at 13. And you can still see that the... Uh, return is around 12.2%. Now somebody can say that uh, it, the life of solar might not be 25 years, it might be 20 years or even lesser. So let us assume that the life is around 15 years, right? And even in that case, the returns would be around 9.80. Now to check the sanctity of this calculation, let us try it out with FDs. In case of an FD, I invest uh, 100 rupees on first year and uh, I get 107 rupees and my return would be 7%. If it is a 3 year FD, let us put it at 125 and my uh, return is around 7.72. Uh, trying this out with bonds, uh, usually bonds uh, deliver us 10 to 12%. So let us take it at 12%, 12% interest each year and at the third year I will get 100 plus 12 that is 12%. So you can see that the calculation works uh, fine for different kind of investments. And even if I have to take it on the more extreme side, so let us assume that the break even period is around 10 years. I save 10 rupees every year and uh, I save it for next 20 years or so. Even then the net XIRR is 7.75%. So that is the beauty of solar uh, investments. Now, of course, this calculation is not accurate. It will depend from individual to individual, but it does give you a certain kind of idea. Even if there's a margin of error of say 25% and the returns are showing at 15%, even then you will be able to get returns of around 12% or so. Now, there are a couple of factors that add to this calculation. They are that number one, per capita power consumption in India grows by around two to 3% annually. As the consumption of the country grows, we buy more appliances, electric scooters, electric cars. The consumption per capita keeps on increasing. As the consumption increases, the returns here will become higher. The second point is that the power tariffs 
also rise by around 1 to 3 percent in different states on an annual basis. If you add this factor to the calculation, the returns again will get even higher. And hence, it is very important to keep a long term vision when investing in solar because the costs will keep on going higher. So if your current consumption or the calculation suggests that you should go for two kilowatts, it is better or on the safer side to get a three kilowatt system because in the longer run, the tariffs and the consumption will go higher and it is more probable that the three kilowatt will be able to give you better returns. If you go for two kilowatt system, your returns will be capped lower. I'll speak about this in more details in the next video. In this video, I just wanted to keep it limited to this calculation only. If you have any questions around this, do reach out to me. I'd love to discuss. If you are exploring the idea of setting up solar on your residence or commercial property, I'll be happy to discuss anything that you have in your mind. And that's it for the day. Stay healthy and invest well.